Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, happy Tuesday to you. Uh, I uh, spent a good part of my day yesterday with uh, some uh, some people I really enjoy being with, uh, doing something that, uh, well, I don't normally do. So uh, today I'm going to sit in my chair and uh, I come to you uh, from my chair. Uh, I am going to post a picture over on my personal Facebook page. Uh, it might explain to you a little bit of... Uh, why I'm sitting in my chair today, uh, taking it a little bit easier physically uh, as I uh, sit here in the study and uh, do all those things that the Lord's called me to do. Uh, today, uh, I was uh, reflecting earlier today on uh, a great verse in the scripture. In fact, I want to read it to you. I've got my Bible right here on, uh, on my desk. Uh, as Paul was uh, talking with his friends at the church in Corinth, uh, he said to them, uh, I don't want you to be unaware of uh, what we have been through. Uh, he's, uh, and he's talking about uh, his, uh, his trip through Asia, uh, through modern day Turkey, it would be today, but uh, back then called Asia. Uh, his trip through Asia, uh, planting churches and ministering in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, I don't want you to be uh, unaware of the hardships. But then he goes on to say in verse nine, this uh, powerful thing, indeed in our hearts, we felt the sentence of death, but this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. Uh, that uh, phrase in there, uh, not rely on ourselves, but on God, uh, really rings true for us. And I think it really has uh, rung true for me even today, uh, reminding us of, uh, well, who it is that, uh, that is our leader, who is our Lord. Uh, he is uh, the God of the universe, the God of all creation. Uh, and uh, uh, that little detail uh, that's not to be missed right at the end of the verse, we rely on God who raises the dead, who, ra who rose up uh, from the dead, our Savior Jesus Christ, who raises uh, us to new life in Jesus Christ, and who will raise us from the dead. Uh, that's, uh, that's the greatest power that there is. And uh, so uh, uh, the hard things that we encounter, uh, the hard things that we have encountered over the last number of months, uh, remind us of that truth, that we are to rely on God, not on ourselves. And sometimes those hard things come into our lives and uh, remind us of that truth again. Let's rely on God. Now, before I go, uh, I'm guessing they were a group of, uh, of uh, maybe... Uh, underworked, imaginative students. I think I picture them up late at night, uh, uh, just laughing gregariously in their rooms as they wrote this fictitious uh, service manual. Uh, it was uh, designed uh, to be uh, kind of a, a little bit of a humor to uh, put off the, uh, uh, the drudgery sometimes of training manuals. Uh, they invented this fictitious uh, Peace Corps manual that would help you in case of an anaconda attack. Uh, they probably had been up pretty late that night. Uh, and it's interesting, the, uh, the aspects of it. And I, uh, I've got that here on my desk as well. Uh, I thought I uh, would share it with you. Uh, in case of an anaconda attack, uh, first, if you are attacked by an anaconda, do not run. The snake is faster than you are. Lie flat on the ground. Uh, put your arms tight by your sides. Uh, allow the snake to start to swallow you. And then the next uh, line uh, always makes me chuckle a bit uh, heavier. Uh, don't panic. <laughs> yeah, as if. Uh, uh, the snake will begin to swallow you from the feet. Uh, step six will take a long period of time, so that's the snake will <laughs> swallow you from your feet. Uh, after a while, slowly, uh, with little movement as possible, take your knife and uh, with one fell swoop, uh, cut off the snake's head. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, uh, some important advice there. Uh, make sure you have a knife. Make sure you keep your knife sharp. I think those last little bits uh, are uh, some common sense for us in our lives. Uh, make sure that we keep our knife sharp so that uh, when we need our tools, 
uh, they're available to us. I hope you have a great day. God bless you.